parts of the country feel a little out of control. You had that feeling? Well, here's one measure of it. Eight months into the Joe Biden administration, consider Del Rio, Texas. That's a small town on the Mexican border. It's about four hours south of Midland, Odessa. Over the last few days, thousands of illegal Haitian immigrants have descended on Del Rio, Texas. Now, these are not refugees fleeing war and famine because Haiti, as you may know, is nowhere near Del Rio, Texas. It's 2,000 miles and an entire ocean away. These are not refugees. They are poor people looking for free health care and government services. And you can't blame them for that. Instead, you've got to blame the people who created the incentives for them to come, and that would be Joe Biden. Since Biden became president, about 30,000 Haitians have arrived in this country illegally. Joe Biden says he will not deport a single one of them. What will that mean for the United States? And more imminently, what does it mean for the people who live in Del Rio, Texas? Fox's Bill Malugin has watched this happen for months. He's on the border right now. We're happy to have him. Hey, Bill. Hey, Tucker, good evening to you. So look, for the past several months now, we've heard the Biden administration claim that progress, extreme progress, has been made down here at the border, but that's just not squaring up with what we're seeing on the ground. We want to show you this remarkable drone video we shot today with our crew up in Del Rio. Take a look at this staggering footage. What you're looking at here is the International Bridge in Del Rio. We first showed this to you last night. Well, it has gotten significantly worse. What you're looking at is sources are telling me upwards of 10 thousand migrants waiting underneath that bridge right now after they crossed illegally into the United States. Why are they waiting there? Well, what I'm being told is Border Patrol holding facilities in the area are completely over capacity and Border Patrol agents are completely overwhelmed. There's just nowhere for these people to go right now. They're free to go. They're not being detained right now. They're just kind of holding themselves under this bridge, waiting to be apprehended by Border Patrol. As you mentioned, Border Patrol sources are telling me most of these migrants are coming in from Haiti. There are also some from Cuba and Venezuela as well, but this is just a horrible situation down there and our border agents need a lot of help. Consider yesterday morning, there were only 4,000 migrants under that bridge. Now I'm told, it's well over 10,000. So in a span of just over 24 hours, those numbers have doubled and it's not getting any better. Those migrants keep streaming across. They just walk across the Rio Grande on a dam. They walk a dirt path and more and more are showing up to that bridge by the hour. It's getting worse by the day, literally by the hour. We want to point out something. We've been using our drone to show everybody these remarkable pictures. You can see the video we got on the ground from some sources who are leaking stuff to us as well. Um, we just learned that the FAA has put out a temporary flight restriction, a TFR, in the area immediately around the port of entry where that bridge is. What does that mean? It means our drone can no longer fly and show those images. It's a two-week TFR, and according to the FAA, it's for special security reasons. We've reached out to the FAA to get a little clarification on what the heck that means. The timing on this, the location a little bit curious. I just want to point out, Fox News has been at the border for the better part of seven months now. We've been using the drone the entire time. It's never been an issue. All of a sudden, the last 24 hours, we start showing these images at this bridge, and the TFR goes up we can no longer fly. When we get an update from the FAA, we'll be sure to let you know. But unfortunately for those agents on the ground, they're completely overwhelmed. They need some serious help right now. And hopefully they get it from the federal government. We'll send it back to you. Mm. That's the first time hearing of this, Bill. I sincerely, and I haven't talked to lawyers, but I sincerely hope our company will ignore the FAA. They have no right to shut down news gathering. They don't own the news. Sorry. Bill Mujan, thank you.